What's up guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks back with you today with another review. Sorry I haven't uploaded a review in a few days. This college has started and I've already been overwhelmed with homework and all that other fun stuff. So isn't that just great to hear? Anyways, I'm not going to forget about you bros, so let's get on to today's review. Today's review is the Godzilla Origins Christmas Ornament. I know, right? What are you talking about? I'm doing a Christmas ornament in September. Should have saved this for December. Well, I just couldn't wait because this is very awesome Christmas ornament. Anyways, uh, this is the box. Very basic box, I guess, for a Godzilla Christmas ornament. I really don't know. It's the only one that I have. And onto the ornament itself. Very nice. I love the paint job and the detail on it. I can't tell what Godzilla this is, but I think it's 1954. The only reason I think that is just because of the way the body's sculpted and somewhat of the spines and he has a train in his mouth and his hand and all that. So I'm just going to go out and say this is the 1954 Godzilla. And uh, detail and paint job is very nice. Let me get him a little closer to the camera there. I do love that nice little curve they gave him in his tail right there. That's nice. Uh, skin looks great. Spines are very nicely detailed. He does have uh, the GMK all white dead eyes, but I know this is not the GMK Godzilla because it just doesn't even look like him. And uh, the feet are great. I love the base, standing on a whole bunch of rubble with some more broken buildings and trains and a nice little explosion bubble there. I do like the train inside his mouth and on his hand and everything. Just overall excellent detail and paint job. Looks excellent and amazing. I love it. Got your ornament hanger there. This is the only Godzilla ornament I have. I should get more. That way my Christmas tree is fully kaiju ready. And uh, But just haven't gotten around to buying any more Christmas ornaments. I did get this for a gift, so I can't technically say I bought it. And I got it for a gift for Christmas a few years ago. Anyways, um, let's get on to why this ornament is so awesome. As you can see, this little explosion orange bubble here, uh, it is translucent in a way, and for a good reason. I hope that it's still in the camera shot, and let the magic happen. That's awesome. That's amazing. I love that little gimmick. Hopefully that the camera and the mic picked that up well. But Godzilla was roaring and the little bubble lights up. I'm going to turn off the lights just so it has a little better effect. Uh, let me get this light over here too. It's not this light showing up. Make it completely dark. Oh, I can't see anything. You guys can't even see me. And where's the figure? There he is. Let's watch. One more time, try to get that up close to the camera. Of course, I can't tell if it's showing up or not, but it should. Awesome, right? I love that little gimmick with this thing. It's amazing. Anyways, a uh, pretty quick review. I mean, it's just a Godzilla Christmas ornament that lights up and makes sounds. And um, I do know that there are more Godzilla Christmas ornaments out there. Hopefully, I will get around to buying more. And uh, I will have a Godzilla Christmas tree one of these years. Anyways, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This is Godzilla Origins, Godzilla Christmas Ornament, and we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!